Let's do problem number 17. A bank's loan officer rates applicants for credit. The ratings are normally distributed with the mean of 500. So that's going to be our mu. So mu is 500. And a standard deviation of 50. So sigma is 50. And they tell us things are normal. That's how I knew it was mu and sigma because the problem said that the, um, the rates uh, are normally distributed. So I knew that if they're giving us a mean, it's going to be mu. And if they're giving us a standard deviation, um, it's, going to be, it's going to be sigma. That's how I knew those symbols. What is the 60th percentile? So we have to find this. So 60th percentile. So, so what is this? Let me explain what it is. So this is the normal curve right here like this. And so the 60th percentile, it's, it's a number, and it's going to be somewhere over here. Okay, and I'll call it x. And then this is going to be 60% of the curve. So this area here, this area here, so area is going to be equal to 0 0.60. So 60% of the data is less than this number. So this number, this x, is called the 60th percentile. That's the name it has, kind of a weird thing. So it means 60% is below it. So 60% is to the left of it. So if it was 50th percentile, it'd be right in the middle, right? 50% to the left. Okay, so how do we find this? So basically, we're gonna go to StatCrunch. So this is the probability that x uh, is less than or equal to, and then whatever number goes here, that's going to be the percentile. I should use a different x. Let me use a capital X. There we go. <laughs> These are different x's, right? So this little x, we need to figure it out. That goes there. And so we want the area to be 0 0.60, right? So the area is the probability. So the trick is whenever you're looking for percentiles, you can just memorize it. You always just pick less than, and then you go to StatCrunch and you plug this in. Let me show you. So we go to stat, calculators, and then you go to normal, because the problem said normal. And then right here, the mean is 500. Standard deviation is 50, so 5, 0. And then it's 0 0.60, so that goes in this box here. And then you click compute and look what happens. Boom, we pretty much have almost the same picture. <laughs> okay, their picture's a little bit better. But you see, um, the number that is here is 512.67. So that would be the 60th percentile. So 512.67. So that's the answer, right? That's the 60th percentile. So it's the number such that 60% is to the left. So the area to the left of this number is 0 0.60. So whenever it says percentile, you can just memorize it. You just always pick less than and you plug in the the, the number over here. So 60 percentile is 0 0.60. So that goes over here. And then your answer appears right there. So if it was the 22nd percentile, you would just go over here and type in 0 0.22, click compute. And you see it makes sense. Graphically, only 22 percent is to the left of the 22nd percentile, which is 461. If it was 80th percentile, you plug in 0.8. And then again, just always pick less than. Boom. And you see it makes sense. 80 percent is to the left. So Whatever percentile you have, you just plug it in here and always pick less than. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.